What happens if you kill Caesar early in Fallout New Vegas? What's up everyone? Big Dan here. I have a bunch of different Fallout New Vegas and RPG videos on my channel, so if you're interested in seeing more, hit that subscribe button. Without further ado, let's dive right in. This is an updated version of a video I posted back in February, which YouTube recently demonetized for reasons that are still unclear to me. So I figured what better time to do a remake and include a couple of conversations that I missed in my first video, including with Mr. House and Joshua Graham. Our first opportunity to meet with Caesar comes after we've confronted Benny at the Tops Casino. One of his lieutenants will give us a mark, allowing us to take a boat to Caesar's Fort via Cottonwood Cove. In this playthrough, I allowed Benny to escape to Fortification Hill, so he will also be there. Go ahead and laugh, baby. I ain't blind to the humor in this situation. If you do plan to assassinate Caesar at the fort, there's a few ways to go about it. You can always refuse to disarm at the gate and then fight your way through the camp. But at level 5, I didn't really want to do this, so I agreed to give up my weapons. If you search thoroughly around the fort, you will find a variety of containers with rifles and 9mm handguns. Nothing super powerful, but we should be able to arm ourselves well enough to get a shot at Caesar. Once inside the tent, I decided to aggro the Legion by giving Benny a bobby pin and stealth boy, you know, because I respect the guy's hustle and the love of the game. Baby, your generosity and spirit of forgiveness? Off the charts. This little care package is everything I need. I'll take it from here. You like that? The first few times I tried this, I got absolutely wrecked by Legion Power Fists. These guys hit like a truck, and you'll be outnumbered by about 8 to 1 in this tent. The strategy I found success with was to only target Caesar, and then run away after taking him out. I'll take it from here. If you're stocked up on stim packs, you should be able to survive long enough to escape the fort. Don't worry about retrieving your weapons. They will automatically be re-added to your inventory when you walk through the front gate. Now we just need to escape from Cottonwood Cove, since all the Legion soldiers will now attack us on sight. I jumped into the lake, swam to the other side, and then escaped through the mountain pass. The first thing you'll notice after Caesar is dead is that you'll start to get swarmed by Legion hit squads periodically when you're roaming the wastes. These guys can be a gigantic pain in the ass for a low-level character, so explore with caution. I decided to focus on questing in Freeside and the Strip until I had leveled up a bit and acquired good enough weapons and armor to withstand the Legion assassins. After around level 12, they were mostly just a pesky way to waste ammo rather than a real threat like they were in the early game. I was curious to see if anyone would acknowledge Caesar's death in conversation. After the deed is done, many random NPCs will speak about his death as you travel throughout the Mojave. I wish I could have been there to see Caesar die. I'm an asshole. If the NCR ain't got to worry about Caesar no more, it should worry about improving the lives of regular folks around here. Wish I could have been there to see Caesar die. What an asshole. You're talking to a dog, sir. Unfortunately, most named NPCs will not comment on Caesar's death, not even major NCR figures like Cassandra Moore. But I was able to discuss it with Julie Farkas at the Old Mormon Fort. So the great Caesar is dead. Happy news, but I don't know that it'll make things safer. 
The rest of his goons may be even worse once they take power. If Mr. House is still alive, you can also speak to him about Caesar's death. By my calculations, his death will affect the shape of the battle for Hoover Dam minimally, if at all. The Legion's aggression will outlive Caesar. Indeed, they'll try to take the dam as a tribute to his memory. Given a year, they'd have him deified. But by then, the Legion will be breaking down, riven by internal conflicts, a monster consuming itself. It's irrelevant. In the short term, the Legion is still monster enough that defeating it will make me look powerful indeed. It also came up during the NCR side quest, Return to Sender. Chief Hanlon, an NCR Ranger stationed at Camp Golf, has been falsifying reports of Legion strength to scare the NCR into not attacking. You can actually convince him to stop doing this by bringing up how Caesar's death has weakened the Legion. We lose the dam. Oliver and the center are ruined. It's a gamble either way. Even with Caesar gone, we still might not outlast the Legion. I suppose that's a risk I'll have to take. For our sake, I hope you're right. I guess that I should thank you for bringing me to my senses. So, uh, thanks. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to walk out that door and pretend we never had this talk. During the Battle of Hoover Dam, you can also discuss Caesar's death with Legate Linnaeus. Kaisal's will is the will of the Legion and the West. All beneath the flag of the Great Bear exist to test the strength of the Legion. The West shall fall as the East fell, and all the tribes that stretch to the setting sun shall bear the mark of the Legion. Finally, you can inform Joshua Graham about Caesar's fate when you meet with him in the Honest Hearts DLC. I have to admit, it's hard to believe that even after all he did to me, all he tried to do to find and erase me from this world, he went first. No doubt this will be good for the Mojave. I can only hope Arizona and the tribes don't suffer as the Legion falls apart around them. The Lord shall reveal all things in good time. I think only Caesar can lead the Legion. I've never met anyone who could take his place. I couldn't. I never had a mind for logistics. I don't know Lanius, but from what I've heard, he has no interest in leading anyone, unless it's in battle. No. The Legion dies with Caesar. What follows now are just the last steps of a man who does not yet realize that he's walking dead. You're doing God's work, whether you believe it or not. Obviously, the Legion wasn't just going to immediately go away without Caesar, since they are an organization that is larger than the man himself, even if they would likely fracture in the long run after his death, much like Alexander the Great's army did. Your reputation with the Legion will be vilified, so they will attack you on sight unless you are wearing a Legion disguise. This was a fun experiment to try out for this playthrough, but I probably won't do it again on future runs, mainly because it's annoying to have Legion assassins coming after you so early in the game. So there you have it. What happens if you kill Caesar early in Fallout New Vegas? If you liked this video, be sure to subscribe to Big Dan Gaming for more New Vegas and RPG videos. Until next time, this has been Big Dan. See ya! Talk to Benny on your way out. He knows I'm going to let you decide how he dies. Maybe you want to remind him. Now, on the other hand, if I had a stealth boy and a bobby pin, I could see myself out. Know what I mean? Baby, your generosity and spirit of forgiveness? Off the charts. This little care package is everything I need. I'll take it from here. Another kill for my name.